I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. It's time for another weekly shop update and today is May the 17th. But first, let's take a look at a sticker we got. So this week we have one sticker, uh, BC Designs, really cool guy, uh, sweet YouTube channel, has a lot of artistic ideas. Um, I love what he's doing over there and it's definitely something you gotta check out. He's actually gonna be making a hand tool for the hand tool giveaway here soon and I'm really looking forward to seeing what he makes. So this last week I had uh, two new videos coming out. Number one was a very specific look at the Stanley number 45. I'm going a little bit more into depth into what it can do, uh, the grooves it makes and the different cutters that can be used. And so I actually used uh, several of the cutters um, and ran down a few boards to show you what the profiles look like and some of the specifics that this can do. And it is really a fun tool and it's one of those things that uh, anytime you get a chance to use it, it's just really enjoyable to use. So I'll leave a link to that video right over here and you can go check that out. It's, uh, it's really kind of a fun one. The second video I had this week was actually doing a, a kid's frame um, for hanging up their artwork. And it is a large frame, five foot by three foot, uh, with uh, string going across that the kids can hang up their artwork. Our refrigerator was getting packed and we needed a place to put it. And it really gives them a, a chance to display their work and feel good about what they're doing and uh, feel proud about their work. It was a fun project to do, a very quick, very simple, easy project that just about anyone can pick up. And if you want to take a look at that, I'll leave a link to that right over here too. This week I also got to be the guest on Let's Talk Shop with Russ. Uh, if you haven't seen that channel, I'll leave a link over here. It's a really, really cool channel. They do it once a week on Saturday night, um, and he spends time with an individual uh, maker or a woodworker and really focuses in on a key aspect of it. And it's sort of like a one-on-one uh, -on -one time with a maker and showing how something works or specifics about a tool and really kind of going to depth about the trade. A really cool channel, and you get to see things done live. And uh, so I actually made uh, this pencil box with a sliding lid, carved top, um, just went through some of the steps and how to do it with hand tools and what all was involved in it. It's a really fun show um, and I'll leave a link to that episode right over here. I definitely say go check it out every Saturday night and uh, it's a lot of fun. The one big thing that everyone's talking about is the hand tool giveaway, the uh, hand tool build off 2016. Um, I have been just absolutely blown away by the response to this. Um, a lot of people really getting involved with it. Um, we're going to be giving away a Stanley number 45. This thing is uh, looks absolutely phenomenal. It has all of its cutters, comes in an original box. Um, really, really cool. We're also going to be giving away the other smoothing plane I made, hand carved with a purple, uh, purple heart sole, ash body, a quarter inch iron. This is a really, really fun little tool to use. Um, and I, we've been having a lot of responses. Uh, we have three responses in already. And I just wanted to show you some of the things that are being made by a few people. This morning, Rob from Rob's Woodshop released a video on making a panel gauge. Uh, and this is actually a panel gauge that will be then given away at the end of this challenge. Um, so if you like it, that's something you could possibly win. He did an awesome job on it, um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing who gets this. Next up, I got a package in the mail today from Donnie Carter. He made uh, two knives. Really, really sweet job. Um, I'm really liking these things. Uh, one of them is made uh, with plywood and uh, really, really sharp looking knives. And these are going to be something that are also given away. Uh, really kind of cool and uh, who knows, one of you might get them. Then I got a message from Justin in Ireland and he made these marking gauges. Uh, sent me some pictures and they are absolutely gorgeous. They are made of teak. Um, really, really well done, and these are going to be an awesome gift um, to uh, one of you guys. And these will be a Europe-only prize, um, as well as the panel gauge. So anything that is made in Europe, um, the maker will hold on to it until it is time to give it away to someone else, and they'll ship it directly to the person in Europe. That way it doesn't have to get shipped back to the United States. So we will have prizes for people around the world. Um, we'll have some that are Europe only, some that are US only. Uh, I think we have one that will be in New Zealand and uh, a few others around. So if you want to make a prize that is specifically for your country, um, great, go for it. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you make. This next week, um, I have two videos coming out. Number one, I am actually going to be doing an in-depth video on the Stanley number 55. So very much like how I did the 45, I'm going to be showing a lot of the actual cutting of things that the 55 can do. And particularly, I'm gonna be showing things that the 55 can do that the 45 can't do. So we'll be going into a little bit more detail on how that goes. And I'm really looking forward to that one because 
the 55 has some really interesting features and can do some really sweet things. So keep your eye open for that video. The second video this next week is actually going to be uh, my wife's anniversary gift, and because it is her anniversary gift and I haven't given it to her yet, I can't tell you what it is. Um, but I can tell you it is going to be really stinking cool. I'm using five different species of wood, and it's right over there, and I love it. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing that video, and it should be, uh, it should be a new favorite. So one of the big things for me is in three weeks, uh, the Midwest Tool Collectors Association is having their national meeting. And it's in Des Moines, Iowa, only about uh, four or four and a half hours away from me. And I am so looking forward to it. It is several days of hand tool mania. So the, uh, the parking lot will be full of people um, selling and buying and trading their hand tools. And then inside there is a huge area with people have tables set up to sell their hand tools, um, collections that are on display, um, talks and uh, other uh, lessons about hand tools and really a good time to get and meet other people. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to being there and I'm hoping to meet a few of you. Um, if you do see me, uh, feel free to come up and say hi. I'm thinking about maybe doing a get together, uh, but I don't know. Uh, if that's something you'd like, uh, please let me know. And I'm looking forward to, uh, to getting to meet you. So that's about it for this week. Uh, we've got a lot of fun things coming up and uh, some cool builds and a few other tool things. I'm really looking forward to the Midwest Tool Collectors Association. This is uh, just going to be a cool time. If uh, you like this video, please hit the like button and think about subscribing. You might want to check out one of my other videos. I've got a lot of uh, fun projects out there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.